Headwinds and tailwinds, both sides push hard in a debate over the future of Kansas wind farms. This is KOAM News at 5. Researchers release a new study and lawmakers hold hearings regarding proposals to add new regulations for the wind farm industry. KOIM Zach Dodge has details. More than $1.6 billion in revenue for counties and landowners and more than 22,000 upfront and ongoing jobs. Those are two of the biggest findings from a study on the economic impacts of wind energy in Kansas in 2020 that was just released. The study was done by law firm Polsonelli, which according to press releases and their website, does represent wind energy companies. The report was also released just hours before a hearing in Topeka for proposed legislation that would regulate the wind industry in the state. Counties need help in um, navigating wind energy development. Senate Bill 279 in its current state would regulate setback distances, noise levels, and how a contract between a wind farm developer, landowners, and counties could happen. The bill is currently being considered by the Senate Utilities Committee with supporters of the bill from all over Kansas speaking in person. Ann Dare lives in Bourbon County where a wind farm is currently under construction. She hopes it passes so that other counties have a roadmap in the future. This is not saying you cannot come to Kansas ever anywhere. This is just saying we've got some rules that uh, you need to follow. And... Um, so yes, I, I, I hope I hope with everything that's within me that it passes. Zach Dodge, KUAM News. Another committee hearing in Topeka is scheduled for tomorrow at 1.30 p.m., where committee members expect to hear from those in opposition to the bill. And there will be a link to the full economic impact study on our website later this evening. That's KOAMnewsnow.com.